Вестибюль оф екстернал нос. Повед, 
that you should put your right hand on the heart of a patient and lift the tip of the nose by thumb, like this. And you will see the vestibule of a nasal cavity. The vestibule of a nasal cavity is covered by skin, so, can, so color of skin is pale, and nasal vestibule can contain hair follicles, and should it contain some foreign bodies, some discharge, some accumulation of blood. Next is uh, examination, instrumental examination of the nasal cavity, and the name of this examination is called anterior rhinoscopy. Anterior rhinoscopy. For anterior rhinoscopy, I, I use the nasal speculum. Nasal speculum. This is nasal speculum. We open palm, put nasal speculum, and close. Like this. This is normal position. Elbow is immobile. Like this. So for that, again I put my hand in front of the patient. Insert the tip of the nasal speculum, open, and extend the head. Extend, extend. Uh -huh. And remove. And you should check the opposite side of the nasal cavity by left hand again. Mm -hmm. So like this <laughs> and like this. Yeah? So normal position. Open, extend. Remove. Insert, open, extend, remove. Done? Mm -hmm. Insert, open, extend, and remove. And you should remove the open nasal speculum. Why? Because if you remove the close nasal speculum, you can close the hair follicles. Mm -hmm. In this case. Insert, open, close, remove. You can remove the hair follicles, it will be painful for patient, of course. Huh? And you shouldn't insert the tip of the nasal speculum, too deep. Mm -hmm. Because you reach a pretoric piriformis and you can't open nasal speculum wide. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Not like this. So you can do it only in the place of the other nasal. In the place of the nostrils. You can open the nasal speculum wide. Так, two position, normal position and extended position. During the first position, you can see the uh, what you can see the anterior part of the nasal cavity, and when patient extend the head, you can see the posterior part of the nasal cavity. And what what can you see exactly? Yeah? What can you see exactly? Exactly, you can see the nasal cavity, the nasal cavity. Nasal cavity is covered by mucosa. Is covered by mucosa and contains some landmarks, which septum, inferior conca, inferior uh, middle conca, inferior meatus, middle meatus, and common or general meatus. The color of mucosa should be pinkish. Mucosa should be moist, and of course nasal cavity contains two more than marks, I mean superior conca and superior meatus. But using anterior rhinoscope, you can't see these little marks. You can see these little marks only using the endoscopic examination. Sometimes if your aim is checking of superior meatus and superior conca, you, can, you should use the uh, thin endoscope mm -hmm. and try to reach, try to find this superior conca and superior meatus. By uh, but by uh, using the simple anterior rhinoscopy, you will see just inferior conca, medial conca, inferior meatus, medial meatus, common meatus, and septum. Okay. And you shouldn't see some hyperemia of mucosa, some craft formation, some discharge, and some uh, benign tumor like nasal polyps. Next examination is examination of the pharynx. And pharynx consists of three parts yeah? nasopharynx, mesopharynx, and hypopharynx. And superior part of the pharynx is hypopharynx. So we begin from up till down, and the first uh, part of the larynx of the pharynx is nasopharynx. Checked by posterior rhinoscopy. Posterior rhinoscopy. For posterior rhinoscopy, we will use a small mirror. This na name of this mirror is nasopharyngeal. Nasopharyngeal, nasopharyngeal mirror and stand depressor. And for this method of examination, we will use the uh -huh. spirit.